Good afternoon, good evening, good evening, good afternoon, and welcome to a bit of Guess the Game. Just as a bit of a warm up to get back into recording, because it has been a bit of a while. Uh, we're going to try and play a few rounds of Guess the Game. Let's have a look here. So, oh, nice, we've got a magnifying feature, that's handy. So, this grass is obviously quite high res. That looks like wooden posts. I'm trying to think where I might have seen this shit. I'm going to say... It's probably not right. It could be the old school Skyrim. What does Skyrim come up as if I do that? Okay, great. It's not the old school Skyrim. It's not rated on Metacritic either. So... Is it a new game? Uh... Because those textures are really nice. I don't know. Um, again, I'm thinking the other scroll Skyrim for some reason. But I, I don't know what on earth it could be. Um, uh, I'm just going to guess Deadly Premonition. It's not the Deadly, Pre uh, Deadly Premonition. So it's on PC. So that's so that's truck. I'm guessing uh, that's obvious, like a troop carrying truck. Surely, that's got to be a tarp over it. Is this Far Cry? Like the original Far Cry? I know it's been on multiple systems. It's a survival game, okay, and it's not rated. So that's Russian, I think, unless it reads backwards. No, it's that's got to be some sort of Russian or uh, Cyrillic language. Um, I'm going to say Escape from Tarkov, maybe. No, it's not. It was released in 2018. Is it Daisy? Hey, there we go, okay. Yeah, what would have been the sixth clue? That would not have given it away anymore. Oh, oh it's it's a GIF image, nice, okay. Um, yeah, okay, that would have helped a lot. And it's nice as well to have the animated uh, image. So, okay, so that was pretty good. So, five... Bear in mind, I haven't played this in a short while. Um, I might actually, well, buy... Pay for them on coffee, uh, whatever, just so I can get more progress. Cause, yeah, it's 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 a very fun game. So, oh, okay, play previous days, right? So, day seven hundred sixty-four. I don't know how far we got, but I, I imagine it's been a while. So, let's, uh, okay. has it actually sent my progress at all? No, no, it is not. Okay, fair enough. It's been going on for a while, hasn't it? Okay, uh, pixel art, uh. So I think, oh god, I know the game, I just don't know what it is. Uh, I'm, I think it's a sort of like survival game, base building survival game, side scroller. Couldn't tell you the name. It's not going to come to me. Oh no, it's an adventure game. Uh, the name isn't going to come to me, I don't think. No, I'm not going to get it. Norco, never even heard of it. Because like a lot of like these pixel art adventure games look very similar. There's that many of them; it's hard to keep track. Uh, so, is that a melee weapon that person's holding in like the right hand? Maybe. Oh, no, this is connected, isn't it? It's like some sort of wooden beam, some minecart. Um, I can see grass there. It seems to be some sort of quarry area. I'm going to get... It's probably going to be a survival game, but I'm going to just type Call of Juarez Bound in Blood. 90% um, on Metacritic, so they're doing a very good game. Um, no, no, Sekiro. Sekiro? Come on, John. Is it Sekiro? No. 
It was on PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and PC. There's Daylight. Is this... Because that looks like machinery, so I don't think it's going to be God of War. And it was on PS3 and Xbox 360. If it's t I don't think a Tomb Raider game has been that highly rated for a while, but I'm going to... I'm hinging on this, like, what is this? I know what this is. This isn't... This, this can't be Skyrim, can it? Where is this? This looks like the underside of a bridge or something. What is this, though? Action, adventure, puzzle elements. Is this Fate? No, it can't be Fable 3 because it's on PS3. Um, it's a multi-plat. It's not... No, it's not... Rome, it's not... No. <laughs> oh! Um, brothers. Brothers of Tale of Two Souls? Tale of Two Sons. There we go. Yeah, it was a cooperative game. That I would have got it from. By Starbreeze as well. Well, I never... Yeah, one of like the um, most popular um, corp games. Oh! Now this to me looks like Game Boy Advance graphics. So, I'm thinking this is like Crash Bandicoot 2. Uh, entranced on the um, uh, Game Boy Advance. It could be Aladdin. Hey! I was thinking like the, uh, you know, um, Aladdin, you know, 40 Thieves. Yeah, that may be, because that, is that lava or is that the sky? Orange sky, I think that's lava. That I would not have got it from. See there, yeah, Aladdin's figure, absolutely I would have got that from. There, obviously. And you get some gameplay here as well. Nice to see some older games here as well. I like that. Because how many times have we, have we had like Skyrim like four times now? Yeah, get some retro games on that. That's cool. Huh, okay. This is uh... I guess this is an FMV game. That looks like very real. No. Okay. Oh. Is this Yoshi's Woolly World? No, it's not. It's um Kirby. It's the Epic Yarn. There we are. If I had another Nintendo Switch, I'd definitely have to get excuse me. If I bought another Nintendo Switch, I'd definitely have to get a, um, like, Yoshi's Woolly World. Because that looks really good. I was never a big fan of the Yoshi platformers. Uh, Yoshi's Island and such like that. The music was amazing, but the gameplay wasn't really my cup of tea. I tried to enjoy it, but, you know. Um, but yeah. Oh, yeah, the hint was we there as well. So yeah, I definitely would have got it then. Um, I will say, actually, like, Kirby's Epic Yarn was a great game in terms of tackling difficulty because like you couldn't really die in the game as such but like you see the score here like that you had to maximize and every time you did damage you lo you lost uh score of all it was up here um on the, uh, on, the, on, the on the right hand side on the left hand side rather so yeah so it's all about maximizing your score so it was it was as difficult as you wanted it to be yes getting from a to b wasn't difficult but maximizing your score um yeah that was the hard part um, that's how uh, he's had a great way of doing difficult. Now let's have a look at this. So you see a paw print there. Some fruit. 
I'm guessing this is Spore. Taking place on a desert land. No. 83% on Metacritic. Is it an RTS? Is it? I don't think it is, but is it Pikmin? No. PS3, PS4, and PC. Uh, I'm not going to get this, I don't think, because this is... It looks like an RTS, but... Real-time strategy games on PS3 and 4 aren't really that common. It must be... Oh, it's... I know the game. I've played it. Top-down persistent sci-fi. It's twin-stick shooter, I think. I've played it with um, the DM of my D&D game, and I don't... What's the game? We've played it before. It was actually quite good. Sort of like Helldivers 1. Um, I'm not going to get the... Was it? Is it this? Maybe? Arrowhead Studios. Is this actually Helldivers 1? It's, it's Helldivers 1, isn't it? Oh yeah, I played this. It's like Hell Divers One. It's Hell Divers One. I wasn't. A, I, I mean, I'm not a big fan of Hell Divers in general, but yeah. Um, but yeah, okay. Hell Divers, good. Got there in the end. See, look at this. I'm slacking. Aladdin was my best guess. I remember when I was just constantly just getting these in under two goes, in under three goes rather. But yeah, okay. Uh. These rock textures are very nice. What about the grass? The grass looks nice. Flowers. Um, I'm going to hazard a guess at Greedfall. No, okay. Oh. Is this Elden Ring? Because that looks to me like the bonfire equivalent. No, okay. It is. Is it Dragon's Dogma 2? Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah. I must admit, I need to get into the first one. I, was, I keep trying to get into it, and like everything about it sounds really good, but I just can't, for the life of me, just get past... Like, it wants to, oh, it's got a really good magic system. It's got this, that, and the other. Sorry, trying to keep me hair behind my ears. Um, but I just don't, I don't know why. I just can't get into it. This, uh, pixel art, I'm guessing this is sort of, this is like a pillar of some sort that's been knocked down, maybe a trash can. I'm going to just say Hotline Miami. Hotline Miami 2 and Hotline Miami 2, wrong number. Is there a difference between those two? That's not Hotline Miami. Uh, is it, oh, I'm not going to get this one. 82%. I'm just going to say, is it Enter the Gungeon? No. Is it... Oh, is it... Um, nuclear Throne? A diagonal Down Crime. Is it... Diagonal Down? We don't call it isometric anymore. In fact, actually, fun fact, uh, isometric and, I guess, diagonal there are two different things. Uh, yeah, um, it's just that isometric is a commonly used term to describe a certain viewpoint, but no. Uh, I think it was Chris Davies on his uh, retrospective of Fallout, the Fallout series, that uh, that came up. Is it uh, Turnip Boy? Commits tra tax evasion? No. Is it... Ah, uh, yeah, okay, it's a different one. Uh, Turnip Boy robs a bank. There we go. See, I am cultured. I, I do like names like that. That's very funny. Turn it, boy. Look <laughs> it's tax evasion. Let's clear an enemy with the aggravation sign there. Very low. Polyfire effects. What's going on in this picture? We've got modern buildings. That looks like maybe a forklift. Or is it? Maybe it's, yeah, I think it's a staircase leading somewhere. What does that say? Is that in any language? Uh, skip. 
Oh, is it? Is this fashion police? Fahion, please. No, it, it, oh, it's it's a shooter. Is it a shooter I've been playing recently? Best combo. So that's telling me it's like a sort of. What is it? Character design. It's. I'm gonna hazard a guess. It's not right, but is it Catherine? No. What's going on here? <laughs> Look at this, Jesus Christ. Genre. RPG, sports, third-person, turn-based, dating simulation, QTE, and quick set. I ain't gonna get it. Do I recognise this character? Released last year, so I'm probably not gonna get it. Uh, no, what is it? Thirsty Suitors, of course. I've heard of it before. Thirsty Suitors. My god. <laughs> that, that does actually look fun though now then is that Scholomance in, no not Scholomance in World of Warcraft it's uh, uh, Kazaran is this World of Warcraft because the it's low texture details, but I don't know, that's too high for World of Warcraft. I'm going to say World of Warcraft. No, okay. Released in 1993, uh, sorry, uh, Metacritic score of 93%, so it's quite high. Blood. Stone. It's, it's a highly rated, so I'm going to say it's got a war game. But which one? God of War 2, okay. That was interesting. I think I might have got it from that. That looks like a QT event or something. Or... That I definitely would have got it from. I wouldn't have known the specific game. <laughs> Quick time events. Yep, that's definitely uh, God of War. I must play God of War. They're very good games. Okay, Kratos there. They couldn't have picked a, a better GIF image there, could they? Um, oh! Is this Desert Bus? Does Desert Bus even appear here? No. It's... Oh, it's a um, original release. Yeah, it's... What's the name now? Not Maximum Overdrive, that's a Stephen King book. Um, what's the name? It's... Hey, hang on, is this actually Sam and Max? The original Sam and Max. Am I in the least of the right franchise? No, okay. It DOS, okay. Um... So this is obviously very, very old. <laughs> it's that sort of... Is it... Let me just have the word tune. Does that come up with that? 72 results. It's not Toontown, although that is a game I must play again. Too human, though. No. We were here to... Uh, Toonstr... Uh, Toonstr... No, uh... I'm just... G I know it's not the answer. It can't be. But is it... 
on Key Island. Now, point and click comedy. Uh, this does not look like Leisure Suit Larry. Is it? Um, oh, what's come on? What's the other ones? Think EA, EA games, adventure games, Sierra adventure games. <laughs> Was it Space Quest? No, God oh, damn it. I d 1993, I'm not going to get this, am I? LucasArts, yeah, it was a LucasArts one. It is Summer Max. Upside down, Gideon, I'm dyslexic. Is it someone exit the road? Yes. But why didn't it flare it up when I said it was a Sam and Max game? It was in the right franchise. So it wasn't Save the World, it's Hit the Road. Very good games, very funny. You should play them. 100% they're brilliant. <laughs> anyway, this looks a lot like it's beginning to look a lot like Greedfall. It's probably Monster Hunter. But I'm going to do it anyway. Is it Greedfall? Oh, hello. This is interesting. This is like... Oh! This font is so often used in... Japanese games. JRPGs. I know what this is from. I... I'm just going to put Monster Hunter just because I don't know what else to put. It's probably a Final Fantasy game. You can perform great feats of arms. I prosper. So that's an equipment screen. Is this the Final Fantasy VII remake? It's in the Final Fantasy series. I recognise that guy. With his nice hair. That is Final Fantasy... It's one of the recent ones. Is it 15? Yeah, hey, there we go. It's, it's the... It's the Friends Who Are Boys game. Just dudes being bros. That is Warcraft Rumble. I haven't played that in a while, actually. So it's like a two-lane um, strategy game. Like That there is... Um, what's his name now? You know the candle! He's a kobold. That one. Is that the leader of him? So that's like a teleportation bit. It's so like you can deploy units there if you capture it. I think like your towers, that's like a neutral tower that you can top on. Uh, gold used to summon your units. It's basically like Clash of Clans. And uh, yeah. you always have like a cool miner. Um, like this guy here, the Dark, uh, Dark Spear Troll. He's my MVP. Constantly doing good by me. And this is a bit of gameplay. This is what I was addicted to a time, for a time. But no, it is it is really good uh, gameplay. I mean, you know, as far as mobile games go, whatever. Yeah. I think I recognise this. It's modern. Do I want to say? Watch Dogs Legion. I still put it with the underscore, like Watch Dogs Legion, for example, like that. No, it's not even in the same... Oh, it's it's in 92, it's definitely not Watch Dogs. What's this, then? I don't recognise any of this. 
Um, Quantum Break. It won't be Quantum Break because I was on Xbox. What is this? That looks like a map. It was released on newer systems as well. Is it Control? I know Control has a woman in it, but... Side view fighting. Oh, it's, um... No. There was a new Street Fighter game, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, just... I might have got it a gift from there. So this is what Street Fighter looks like now. Like lobby base or something. I don't know, it looks quite good. But it makes me think of like... Uh... It makes me think of like Yakuza. Spyro season of ice. Spyro season of flame. Ah, there we go. It was one of those two. 76 on Metacritic, can you believe that? I would actually like to play this for the channel, but the thing is, it's an isometric view. It's painful to play. Especially when like your screen size is actually about that big. <laughs> Oh, Christ, the Agent 9 stuff. Yeah. This is what the gameplay looks like. This is actually, like, literally the size of your screen. Imagine holding up a, a DS, a uh, Game Boy Advance like that. In fact, no, it's even smaller than that. This will be done on an emulator. But yeah, this is what the, um, yeah, seriously, you see, you see how, how hard it is to see? You, you do not get much more space than that. The game is not exaggerating. Um, but yeah. You really do not get that much. Uh, but these are like the Game Boy Advance games um, by Digital Clip Software. Pretty good. Pretty good for what they were. Uh, but in Cra uh, Spyro Orange, so a bit of a history here. Uh, in Spy Oh, nice, 25 Jim. Um, in Spyro Orange, which was the opposite of Crash Purple, because it was a sort of crossover event, where uh, Crash would take on Ripto and Spyro would take on Cortex. Nice. Um, what would happen is, like, you could actually have a side scroller. So Spyro was in a side scroller, and it was brilliant. It was so good. It was the better of the two games, um, especially because of that. It was really fun just to run around the hub. Is it a game I'll play? I mean, it was actually one of the last review scripts I wrote. It was one of the best review scripts I'd ever did. Um, if I get back into game reviewing again, because I still have the footage, I would absolutely want to do those reviews because they were very, very good games. Um. Hmm. I don't recognize any of this. 84%? No. I'm not going to get this one of that link. What is it? Thimbleweed Park. I wouldn't have got it. I know the game, but... No. This looks like some sort of um, very low res um, sporting thing here. Uh, I'm going to say PlayStation 2 at the earliest generation. Oh, it, it's definitely a football game of some sort. Um, Only on GameCube, okay. It wasn't Micro Machines. I know the game, I think. Oh, it's, um... Super Mario Strikers. That was it. Yeah. I, th I was thinking, is that, like, what is that? But yeah, this is, like, the Super Mario football game. That does actually look good.
Look at the controls as well. Hmm. Um, that looks like Donkey Kong Country. Um, I don't think that's replicated in one day. I don't think that's trying to be pixel art. I think that is pixel art. Um, is that Metal Gear? No. Top Gun on the NES? Oh, this is um, Alone in the Dark. Like, the original Alone in the Dark. I could tell from that early 3D. This is like on 3DO, I think. DOS, yeah. This is like one of the earliest attempts at 3D on PC, uh, on, on DOS. And um, it was very janky. That's Edward Carnby there, I think, or his, or his companion. But yeah, very, it was a very, very strange game. It was like a horror game. 1992 survival horror. Like, people say, like, it's the original survival horror game. Like, before Resident Evil and whatnot, but, uh, yeah. There he is, that's Edward Carnby. How many, how many iterations does he add? And he looks like that. By Infogrames. Remember Infogrames? Published, uh, Hogs of War. Now, this, these graphics are familiar. Is that an outstretched hand? Like, something reaching out like that? Or... I don't know. I recognise this... I'm gonna say, isn't it Shadow Warrior 2? No. 89% on Metacritic. Is this... Jigaiden. No. It was on Xbox. This looks like... Uh, that's a health bar. Oh, that's the thing that's there. On original Xbox? Oh! Is this Tenchu? No. It was an action RPG. On Xbox only. RPG. Spirit. No, go on. Oh, it's, um... Oh, I know the game. Although, th do I? Do I know this? Bioware. This isn't Jade Empire, is it? Because that was on PC, surely. I could have got that a lot sooner. I should have got it right around there. But I thought, no, it can't be Jade Empire, can it? This is when Jade Empire, um, go on, Bioware, we're going from, like, the isometric games of uh, Neverwinter Nights, no, not Neverwinter Nights, sorry, um, they're going from, like, Baldur's Gate to Neverwinter Nights, to Jade Empire, Star Wars, and to the Republic, to eventually what we now know as Dragon Age Origins and Mass Effect. Um, and they were, those sort of, were the sort of games that were going to shape the future of the, of the RPG space in the West. Mm. This one. This is stylized. Um. Hmm. Eighty-eight percent. Oh, is this um? It's it's just a guess. But is it Cold Fear? No. Okay. Uh, it's an arcade game. Uh. I don't know what this is. Uh, I'm going to guess. Is it Virtua Fighter? Virtua Quest? No. Looks like it's got some... Yeah, so... Oh, it was originally an arcade game. It's a fighting game. Is, is, this, is this actually Virtua Fighter? No, is it Dead or Alive? No. Namco. Okay. I think I think fighting games by Namco. 
Tekken. Of course, Tekken. It has to be Tekken, right? Which Tekken? I'm gonna say Tekken 3! Oh, Tekken 5, okay. Yeah, I'm not very good with fighting games. This is familiar. But what is it? This Is this Crusader Kings? I don't think it is. It is in the Crusader Kings franchise. Oh, three, of course. I forgot there was a third one. Yeah. Sorry, let's go back there. So, there we are. So and so suffered a heart attack after being utterly defeated in a um, literalist defeat debate on the twenty second of March, twenty first of March. Yeah. You know, the old Barcelona. Yeah, they they're good games, but they they go up my head. I I love them though. This is familiar. Why do I want to say this is Super Paper Mario? There's something about it. No. Eighty-five percent of my three out of the game. Yeah. Oh, it's a puzzle game. I know what the game is, but I can't think of the name. It's very cleverly done, though. Same thing about it, they're cool. What's the name again? Garagoa, I wouldn't have got that. I know it. I think it's very clever. Uh, but... I don't know. Okay. Very chunky assets here. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to guess this is Hello Neighbor. Maybe not the first one, is it Hello Neighbor 2? <laughs> no. Not rated. Is this raft? Yes. It's a survival game. I wouldn't have got it from anything but the Oh yeah, maybe this art style, yeah. These characters. And yeah, maybe from that as well. So I think that's now in version one point oh. So there's a well, looks like a dead police officer there. There seems to be some sort of leak. I uh, know. Um, it'll be a. This is going to be. Go on. Water sprinklers. I don't know. Sixty-six on Metacritic, so didn't score very well with critics. It's a new game. Is this Payday Three? I should have guessed it from the other one. Because that looks like someone running, possibly armed. Yeah. I would definitely would have got it from that. But, uh... Yeah. Oh, there's a new heist game coming out uh, soon. I forget the name of it, but you'll see it on Steam. It's published by 5 or 5 Games, at least. This! Oh! So that's obviously, that must be like a doorway or something. That's a doorway to a house. I thought that was like a turret then. Ah. This is going to be a strategy game of some kind, I think. It's going to be foolish. Is it Age of Empires? No. No, it's Total War. Is it Total War of Rome? Yeah, Rome Total War, there we are. Total War games are fun. Rome's good. So you have this side of the game, and then you also have like the actual minute to minute gameplay. Um I actually prefer Mountain Blade for that sort of thing. Because you can control your own guy. And uh Yeah, it's pretty cool. 
But it's like one of the realist RPGs out there, to be honest. Yes, it really can be called an RPG, which is fascinating. I must play that again, actually. Okay, there seems to be some sort of blood droplet there. We've got trees. I'm guessing this is some sort of horror game. Deadly premonition again. Why not? Nope. Okay, 93% on Metacritic with laser beams. I know this game, and I don't know what it is. It's like an Xbox 360 game, no doubt. Gears of War. Of course it's Gears of War. I just couldn't tell which one. Xbox 360, so it'll be Gears of War 1. Gears of War 2. I loved playing the multiplayer with my mates. I just kept running with the, with the chain sword on my bayonet. And people... Not a good idea. Um, yeah. Epic Games, 2008, yeah. What a time. This is... It looks like some sort of dark hospital. I'm guessing it is fan... Is it phantasm? Phantasmal? And Star? God, those are games I want to play again. Sorry, what was that? I see something about JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Phantom Blood. Phantom Brave, isn't it? That in ages. Oh, I thought it said Klonoa. Kurushit Suji. Phantom and Ghost Will. 89% of Metacritic. This is obviously an old game. Is it? Parasite Eve. No. This is Jade Cocoon, isn't it? No, it's Parasite Eve. No, it's um, Resident Evil. Which which Resident Evil is it? It's not Resident Evil 3, so it'll be Resident Evil 2. That's not from the first one, is it? Yeah. Look at that, CG. you got to remember as well, this was on the PlayStation 1. That saliva effect, wow. That was amazing. I am not going to get this one uh, on that image alone. Oh, no, hang on. Let's give it a go. Uh, I think it is a Wii Fit. I, I don't know how these things happen. The reason why I'm guessing it's Wii Fit, or I originally guess it's Wii Fit, is because it's got a very sterile, clinical look to it. Uh, I would not have guessed it from that. That may be also sort of Wii Sport sequel, Wii Sport Resolve, was it? That, you've got the board there. Again, you've got the we fit instructor. That is a sort of top down look of a game. I'm guessing this is maybe a company of heroes. Yep. 
because it's an RTS. That view, I recognize that sort of camera. If I recognize that camera, it's either it's one of two things. It's an isometric RPG or it's an RTS game. So that is World War II. That's probably like Normandy or something like that. That's, yeah, it's going to be like Stalingrad. You've got the World War II tanks there, that sort of building style. The infantry. Uh, yeah. Again, notice all the, the views. How they're all in one way. There you are. Yeah, that is like Company of Heroes. Nasty. By Relic Entertainment. Back when they made good uh, games. I don't actually know what's happened to Relic. I think they were shit can. This. Uh, I'm not going to be able to guess off that. I'm just. Is it Ultra Kill? No, ninety-four percent of Metacritic, so it must have been doing really well. Um, is this? I don't think it is. Was it first, FTL first in the line? Nope. Oh, it's um, Into the Breach. Is it? No, a roguelike deck building. Uh, crypt of the Necrodancer. Oh, I'm not going to get it. Twenty twenty-three. What is it? Cobalt Core. No, never heard of it. That looks fun though. That looks that looks kinda cool. But I would not have got that in one of the varieties. This is a really nice looking game. It's not Sea of Thieves, it's not that sort of style, is it Skull and Bone? It's Skull and Bones, the uh, the game by Ubisoft. Uh, they had to release it because they take it. They took money from the uh, which government was it now? Was it the Argentinian government or something like that? They uh, they 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 took a grant from a government, and they had to release the game under pain of being heavily fined. Um, so they would have cancelled it ages ago, and they should have done by the looks of things, but. Uh, yeah. Why is it with these GIF images? Why can't we actually see some really nice gameplay? This, I mean, don't go wrong, I, I appreciate, you know, they can't tell you what it is, but... Uh, I don't know. I don't think that's really going to help you much, if you haven't got it in the previous four attempts. That! Oh my word, this could be a lot of things. So it ain't Super Mario 64. It looks like a Banjo-Kazooie game on Game Boy Advance. Yes, they existed. There were two. Uh, including Banjo-Pilot. No, not including Banjo-Pilot. There were three in total. Um, I might play those again, actually. I might have to boot up the emulator. Because I am looking for like some video games to chill out with in the evening. But what's that? Let's have a look. What are the Banjo-Kazooie games on? On Game Boy. You got Grunty's Revenge. Is it Grunty's Revenge? No. This is this has got to be like Civ. Oh, original to all from Metacritic. Is it Sid Meier Civilization? But let's go all the way back. Is it the first one? No. Dos Amiga R oh, it's gonna be even older than that. Oh goodness. Um It ain't gonna be pirates. What is it gonna be if it's because as I say this is old. Atari ST I've not actually heard of the Atari ST before. No, that none of this is familiar. These are obviously are these like castles or something? Are we thinking like some sort of fortress? Age of Empires maybe. I'll I'll, I'll put it down anyway. Age of is it Age of Mythology? Populous. Oh, of course. Yeah, Populous. The original, like, God Sim game and whatnot. Yeah. Remember Doshin the Giant? I saw that, and it was like 250 quid in CX. I'm like, sounds about right. It's a great game, though. 
But this looks like it's going to be from some sort of point-click adventure game. I can't make out what any of this is, though. That's the Deliveroo logo. But what is this? What's going on? I can't make it out. 87% on Metacritic, so it's obviously done well for itself. It looks to me... Oh, I don't know. This is the... Oh, it's the new Monkey Island. Is it Return of Monkey Island? Yeah. Punk the Skulls. The Monkey Island games were very, very funny. Um, yeah. Like, seriously, play them. They've uh, they've got that sort of Douglas Adams wit. Um, yeah. Very good. Ah, what's that? What is that I'm looking at? Because I think that's the only real giveaway that we've got here. I don't know. 61%. I've got a feeling I know this. I'm thinking Xbox 360 solid graphics. PS3. Oh! What is it? Ah, oh, it's PS3 only. I'm not going to get it on it. 2013. I I thought it was only on PS4, but is it last remnant? Dragon Guard though, no, but I got that. Is that what I think it is? No, it's, uh, it's two swords in the back. I'm guessing that is... I could just say The Witcher 2. Is it The Witcher 2? No. Is it... What Lord of the Rings games are there? Because that looks to me like a ranger. Oh, of course, is it actually... Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. No, it's the first one. No, it's not. Is it War of the Ring? War of the North? No. Oh, it's of course it's the first Middle Earth. Because that minimap just gives it away. Shadow of Mordor. No, really? So it's not Shadow of Mordor, it's not Shadow of... Well, what is it then? Because that's what it is. Guardians of Middle Earth? Oh, sorry. Shadow of War, sorry. I, I put him Shadow of Mordor twice. I thought it was like something of Mordor, not Shadow of War. Great games though. Um, yeah. Okay. That it looks familiar. I know there's like a scene with a grey haze and I don't know what it is. Uh oh never mind. Is it How do you spell it? No. Uh, that looks to me like uh, some sort of. Oh, oh, there's cards there. What's that? It's come out recently, hasn't it? It's that card game, I forget the name of. Bal Balatro, that was it. Yeah. It seems kind of cool. 
This is familiar. This is very familiar. Oh, it's a Gex game. I should have got this sooner. Uh, but which one? It won't be the first Gex. That was a side scroller. Is it Gex Two? Yeah. Oh, okay. Gex Two. Enter the Gecko, I guess. So it was a uh, 3D platformer with uh, quite crude humor, uh, lots of one-liners. Um, I wasn't overly keen on Gex, if I'm honest, but um, yeah, it was it was alright. Again, yeah, music was astonishing back when uh, Crystal Nowers were doing a lot of good. They, you know, they've had loads of opportunities to make it, and they haven't, and then they got sold off to the. To... Oh, is this? Um... Oh, it's um... her story. Is it her story? Yes. So it's an FMV game. So basically, you're trying to, I think, like determine like who's guilty and whatnot. You got to like watch all these TV interviews and what, you know, like um, interviews and just gonna be on to determine who's the killer. That's full motion video or FMV. This to me looks like is it Dragon Quest? Oh, Dragon Warrior, as it was originally known. See, it's interesting. Like, Final Fantasy 1, as we know it, is like Final Fantasy 4 in Japan. Yeah, and things like that, because, like, yeah, and like, the same with, like, Dragon Quest. Dragon Quest, um, like, in Japan is, like, well, Dragon Warrior. And I, I mean, in the UK, it's like, well, in the West, it's like Dragon Warrior. But they call it Dragon Quest, and, like, we've had several, like, Dragon Warriors, and then we've had Dragon Quest. Like, eh? It's weird. I, I just guessed because the lunatic, that's all. Um, NES remasters on Switch. Um, yeah, that all looks familiar. Uh, the overworld of JRPG for eventually starting into the fights. Look at that. Look at how this monster just contrasts with the background. Nope. No, I'd actually probably prefer to play the uh, original NES version. There you go. And you go around. Well, like that. Fighting monsters. And all summons. You know, it is amazing how JRPGs are so much like D and D, uh, possibly even more so like uh, than Western RPGs. I like D and D. Uh, when you look at things like this, this reminds me of like if my party was traveling across the world of a land, and uh, yeah, yeah, they would just walk into a town, talk to people, things like that. Uh, the idea of like the world and like oh random encounters oh, roll d20 see what happens um yeah or d100 or whatever that i'm gonna guess it's a j um a 3d jrpg in some way although it could be the lenses i like that actually you could really zoom in there and get a bit more detail because that is showing a bit more than what it was previously What? I'm just going to guess, is it Quest 64? Let's get one guess out of it. No. What is this? I know, I, I think I actually played this game. It's got an 86 on Metacritic, so it must be very good. Um, Is this Trails in the Sky? No, not Trails in the Sky, is it? What's that RPG series I'm playing now? Can I quickly go into... Oh, Chrono Trigger. What's the other one? Let me have a quick... Ah, uh, what's the name? Let me have a look real quick. Uh, I don't know what it's called. Single player. Played. RPG. 
Let's try and work it out. What is it that I've played? What's the game? It's a JRPG series, I'm certain. Not East. Uh, Legend of Hit Trails. Oh, it's Trails in the Sky, I was thinking of. Is it Trails in the Sky? It's on GameCube. Um... Okay, well, I ain't going to find it on Steam in my library, so what could it be? I might have to install that again, actually, because I won't mind playing that again. Let's do that while I'm, while I'm doing this, why not? Um, I don't know, Smash Card. 2%. I know what it is. And that bothers me. It's not Blue Dragon. Come on, John, go through your JRP just while I... Um... This isn't Legend of Zelda. It's an action role-playing game. That's not a Pokemon, so it's not Pokemon Photo or whatever it was. What was it now? Only on GameCube. Uh, is it a Digimon game? It does, that does look like a Digimon protagonist. It's not Fantasy Star Online, because that was on Xbox as well, and on Dreamcast originally. What is this? What is this game? Is it a Dragon Quest game? <laughs> oh, it's, um... Tales of... Symphonia. Yes! Got it in the end! I couldn't tell if it was uh, Vesparia or Symphonia or whatever. This does actually look pretty good. Like I remember when like um, I was playing uh, Eternal Sonata, which is about Chopin's dreams as he's dying. And it sort of reminds me of that. Do I have Tales of Symphonia? Uh, ah, yeah, I'm going to add that to my game, so I must play at some point. Uh, why not? Let's also install that afterwards. Because that looks pretty fun. In fact, before I come to the horrid realisation that it's a crap port, what does... Uh, the Steam community say very positive. Okay, fair enough. Uh, yes, JRPGs. The game is about making friends and killing God. I realise I'm downloading two JRPGs at the moment. Not a good idea. What's this? What is this? It's familiar. Is it another JRPG? I don't think so. Oh, it is a JRPG. What JRPG is it? Is it Fire Emblem? No. Okay, it's on PS5, 4, Switch. Is it? It's not one of those new ones. Um, I bravely default. It's... Is it going to be Trails in the Sky? Is it going to be one of these ones? No. Okay. A tactical RPG. Oh, so a bit like Fire Emblem, I think. What games? I'm trying to think. Yeah, I'm gonna say, is it as Final Fantasy Tactics? Being redone? No. 2024. Whatever it is, I actually I'm very interested in this. I I'm not gonna get it. But what is it? Unicorn Overlord. No, I wasn't gonna get that, but that's well, that's pretty cool. Let me add that to the old wish list. Oh, also as well, uh, Kingdom Hearts is now on PC. Which is a 
Oh, it's it's not on Steam. Never mind. It's a shame. It looks really good. What time are we on? Yeah, we're done just over an hour. A little bit more. That's. Do I want to guess this shovel night? Uh, I do want to guess it, and it's not. That to me looks like a... What was that? Is it Mighty Number no. 9? No. Xbox One, PS4 and Switch. Oh, it's... Talk to Wiley. That's Mega Man. Which one? I don't know. Who likes? Gonna be here a while. Oh, well. Yeah. That one. Nice. Yeah. Great games. Um, but they. Uh... We'll kick your ass. Yeah, I like Mega Man's a series that I really want to get into, especially the originals. <laughs> so this looks like a mirror, I think. But I'm not going to get it from that picture below. Is this a saboteur? How would anyone possibly get it from that? I'm trying to even imagine what that is. Yeah, some of those. That's basically where, like, you're in Nazi occupied Paris, in not so gay Paris. And, uh, yeah, you play as an Irishman who's uh, trying to sabotage the uh, Nazis. And, uh, yeah, it's a, re it's a really good game. I strongly recommend it. Just be warned that uh, loading an auto or an auto save, I think, can ruin the super RDX um, thing, which prevents you from destroying trains. I think there's a bug that was never fixed, as far as I can tell. Now, this looks like Sea of Thieves. No. Metacritic score to be decided. Uh, I don't like the idea of games not out already being on here. Well, that's, uh, that looks like Gang Beast. Gang Beasts or Gang Beats? It's a party game. I'm not going to get it if it's not going to be this. What is it? A pummel party. Oh, yes, of course. Yes, that's... Uh... It does actually look quite good. Looks uh, what Crash Bash wanted to be. And Crash Bash is actually fine if you're playing a multiplayer. If you're not, it's absolutely miserable. Now this looks familiar. Hmm. I'm just gonna guess... Is it... Alien? One of the Alien games. No. It's obviously some sort of sci-fi horror game, is it? Well, the Dead Space games. Dead Space... No. Uh, possible Metroidvania? I don't know, is it, is it Soma? 
Uh, oh, is it Alan Wake 2? Tango, so oh, it's the, uh, the evil one then. I'm going to go for the rest of the one. Is it the evil one? No, it's the evil one too. I can't let them actually play because, uh, yeah. No, they're really good. We'll do a few more. That's, uh, this thing is this. RTS, an old one. That's clearly not new. Unless it's. I'm going to say StarCraft. The original StarCraft. No, it's too old for Metacritic. This looks like Command and Conquer. Like the original DOS. I don't think it would have been. I don't think I'm going to get this one this time. This is the mission. It's not even the same. I. D I don't think it was that. The person for the Yes, would. Is it? June 2. Okay. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not mad at that one, to be honest. That seems fair. I do like having old games here. Hmm. I'm going to say Game Boy Advance graphics. Is it... Donkey Kong... What was it now, the swing game? Swindon, um, Kong Junior Math. Well, let's go about this now. Okay, uh, it is. Oh, it is Mario Golf. No. It's on DS. Oh my god, there were some crazy games there. Is this No More Heroes? No, it's a rhythm game. Yeah, what's it now? I know the game. Is it? Big pad. No, don't think it's that. What was that? The one with the bunny over the touch something. I don't know. I think you beat agents. No, I wouldn't have got that. But that does look fun. <laughs> it looks really good. Never heard of it before. But I like that. Now this. I'm thinking GameCube DS graphics. I'm not quite sure. Oh. Of course, why didn't I get it before? Okay, is it Volcaro Criminals 4? No, but it is in the franchise. That's the Edelweiss, I think. Oh, no, is it, oh, is that the other one? Or the other tanks? Yes, this is the only video game that's allowed that's made me cry. Well, I think it's one of two. 
Let's walk in there. Walk in Gunther. It's a magnificent game. Absolutely fell in love with it. Real, like, like it's an RPG. Uh, no, it's a, like a strategy game. Uh, you control your units like this. It's a bit like Hogs of War in a way. And uh, yeah, Sniper was my favorite unit. So it even tells you like how many shots you need to kill that opponent. And uh, how many shots you can make. And uh, yeah. Tells you like from there who, who can shoot you behind cover and whatnot. Very, very good games. Great story as well. Love the characters. That to me looks like a Super Mario game. Which one though? But I think Super Mario Wonder because I think we've had that one recently, so is it? New Super Mario Brothers 2. No. Is this Yoshi's Woolly World? It's on Switch. Is it Super Mario Wonder? What's on? Oh, it's Kirby. Uh, I I recognise these things from Kirby before I actually saw Kirby there. So it's a new Kirby game. Well, I'll have to play that. Actually. Kirby Star Allies. Uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I must really get into the Kirby games because they're there. good. How laboratories are still going? I'll have to read their Wikipedia page because that's gonna be interesting. I thought the idea of like eating enemies was kinda of cool. Kinda of like Wario, no way. Wario is like indestructible, but he keeps suffering the effects of things that he uh he is hit by. Ah, I don't know what it is. Looks like some sort of RPG. I'm gonna guess it is an RPG. Is it gonna be like Final Fantasy One? No. This is an old game. I think this is going to be a very old strategy game or whatever. In fact, is it Ultima? Like the very first Ultima. Which is cool. Oh, they don't even have it. Ultima Zero, Aqua Earth. I'll put that in. No, it's not that. The DOS game. See, this is this is the thing. I I'm not familiar with DOS games. A business simulation game. Yeah, is it one of the original Sim Cities? It's not in the Sim City franchise, is it? I'm gonna definitely try some city again. Train Sim World 2. I'm gonna I am gonna try Sim City, but I wanna know which one it is. Railroad Tycoon. Yeah, I that would have that's the biggest clue I would have had, but no. Okay, Railroad Tycoon. I, I, I'm still glad to see that there's older games here. It's, uh, so the hills from Mario, but is it? Well, I don't know why I'm thinking this, but is it Leaks of the Painful RPG? Yeah. Is it... Is it Road Compass, what they call it? What is that? Survival horror? Oh, yeah. 
Oh no, it's not Rogue Company, it's Leela Company. Is it Leela Company? No. Developer Scott Gazzaro, Will Nell Philip. What is this called? Content warning. Oh yes, of course, yeah, it's another one of those flavor of the month survival games. It that does look fun. That to me looks alike Metro, but which one? It is in the Metro series. Metro twenty twenty three. It was Metro, Metro Exodus, that's the one I wanted. Not 2023. I thought the 33 was a sequel. No. Again, great games. Uh, I played on the first one, Spartan Mode. Um, that's where, like, ammo's really scarce. Uh, and when currency is ammunition as well. But no, very fun. And, uh, yeah, limited supplies. But yeah, good. I liked it. The Legends of Heroes is now available to play. So we'll, we'll keep going. This looks like a... Uh, quite an old game. I'm just going to put in Monkey Island again. Don't think it is. No! That looks like a platform game, is it? I think the graphics are a bit too old for this, but it's Zool. I don't even know what Zool is. Um, okay, is it... I'll just put a Sonic game in, just because it does seem like that sort of... I don't know why I put that in. Oh, it's worms. Why I spot that? I have no idea. It's worms, yeah. Artillery strategy. Very fun game. The idea that you uh, move and then you aim your weapon and then you have to try and hit the air. And destroy the terrain. I'd make them fall in there. Uh, yeah. Now that looks painfully familiar. I'm gonna pass. 94 of Metacritic, so it's obviously done well for itself. I know what it is, I don't know. I, I... Right, that to me looks like a Batman game. Is it Arkham Asylum? No, but isn't the Arkham Asylum? Is it Arkham City? Yes. Yeah, I thought it might have to be. Yeah. Oh! And you can just have to purchase it as well. I do actually like to tell you a bit more down here as well, that's good. I suppose they've got to make the money some way, haven't they? Hmm. This to me looks like old graphics. Ninety. I've 
I've got a feeling like I wouldn't know, I actually know what this is. Oh, it's this Pikmin. Which one? I don't know. Probably. Oh, no. Pikmin 2. Oh, yeah. So the idea is you've got to guide these little things called Pikmins uh, to repair your ship. Out there is Captain Olimar. I wasn't overly keen on Pikmin, to be honest. Um, I like the idea of the little Pikmins themselves, but. Need some scent. Uh. Need for speed? No, it's not that serious. Okay, is it? Burnout? Developed by Codemasters. Oh, come on. The only real game that I pretty much liked like this was Blur. That was amazing. It was like a, like a sort of arcade racing game, but it also had power-ups as well. One of the problems with the Xbox 360 emulation, of course, is that it doesn't exist. Otherwise, uh, um, I would absolutely love to play Blur. One more. It's not. It, it's not Colin McRae, is it? Because this is cities. It's not full auto because full auto had firearms and mines and whatnot. Never speed bam. I just surrender. Race driver grid. Oh, grid. Of course, yeah. That's the one I was thinking of. Never mind. That to me looks like a pitch. Yeah, there's different shades there. I think that's NFL. It's not NFL Street. Is it Madden NFL football? No. Okay. Oh, is it actually NFL Street? Oh, <laughs> there we are. They're actually just giving the answer. So it was. Uh... Yeah. So, I actually... Oh god almighty, that's, that's the name, isn't it? EA Tiberon. Takes me back. Okay, we'll do a couple more. Uh, this looks like... Oh, this is obviously an old game. Come on. You know what, I'm just... I'm, I'm gonna just put in... Is it WarriorWare? No, it's not even on that franchise. Okay, it's not an old game. Uh, this is... is this moving? Moving out? No. Uh, it's a more recent game. I don't think I'm going to get this one. It's a cooking game. Remember, never heard of it. Thought it might be cooked, serve delicious, but... Yeah. That is old. And that is familiar. Oh, guess the order and guess the book. They'll probably not do a Warhammer one. Or guess the audio might be fun actually. Um It ain't Rayman. I'm gonna put another Monkey Island game in just for, just so we have a subsidy. Although that does actually look like a mast and there's a No, it's too old that oh what is that? Is this pitfall? It ain't pitfall. I know it's not pitfall. Why not? 
DOS SNES Amiga and Genesis. So it must have been like a platform game or something. But what was it? Is this what I think it is? Is this Commander? Commander Keen? No. It's... Go on, what is it? It's, of course, the Vikings, isn't it? What was the game to have of three Vikings? Um... Lost Vikings. Got it. The Lost Vikings. 1903 by Blizzard Entertainment. So the idea is, is that, like you have the you control the three different Vikings to do different things. So you'd solve puzzles by taking control of one at a time. So one would have a shield, one would have a sword, and one would have a bow or something like that. Ah, Blizzard, no. There was silicone and synapse back in the day. Yeah. But I think this was before they were Blizzard Entertainment doing like rock and roll racing. Where they got into a bit of trouble with the, the law in that they were using like copyright music but making like MIDI tunes of it. So we have Blackthorn as well. I really want Kyle Blackthorn to be in um, uh, um, Go on. Heroes of the Storm. I must play that again. Um, I guess this might be a racing game. Or is it... Is it the crew? I'm thinking maybe Mafia 3. Mafia 2, no. Uh, 73 uh, score. A newer time crisis? Project Titan. How many things have been called Project Titan? PS5, um... It, I think it is a racing game, but I don't know what it is. Driving, yeah, it is a driving game. It's not Forza. What is it? Criterion. So I'm, I'm thinking it is Need for Speed. If it's been natural. And if it's not bad. Okay. This is very addicting, I must admit. That seems familiar. Is it game from I don't think it is. What's he doing? He's pointing. This isn't Max Paint 2, is it? No, PS6 was CCC and PC. Uh, of course, Obsidian Entertainment's Alpha Protocol. I recognize that screen. Alpha Protocol. I might have to play that one because that's a really good RPG. So that's like an espionage RPG, uh, and it covers uh, the three JBs: James Bond, Jack Bauer, and Jason Bourne. And you can sort of choose which of those you wanted to be. Uh, and it, it was it had like a Bioware Mass Effect leveling system. In fact, it was very much like uh, Mass Effect. And uh, choices really do matter because it's an uh, a um, an obsidian game. Unfortunately, it's no longer for sale, at least officially, uh, because of the copyrights uh, ran, running out on the music. Um, and, yeah. But you can buy it from third party sites, they obviously can't take it down, but Obsidian themselves can't sell it, and it was published by Sega. 
Uh, what would have been a giveaway earlier? Don't think that would have been that. Don't think that would have been. Uh, no, don't really remember that level. Uh, but yeah, I've seen Thornton there as well. Oh, sorry, Thornton, not Thornton. That might have been a video we gave out, like one of the safe houses. That would have been the UI there, the bottom right. <laughs> yeah. I might have to play this again. The uh, Sam Fisher. That looks like a lot of destruction. Is this armored core? Sorry, I forgot they don't spell it correctly. Nope. What's going on here? Stuff. Oh. Is this Halo? Is this Halo Reach? Yes it is, isn't it? No. Halo... ODST? Halo 4. Because that's a that's the yes, another design. There. Three four three industries. Yeah, I should have got it sooner. Some fascinating footage here. Right. What's this, I wonder? Looks familiar. Uh, we're just going to put, is it Super Mario Galaxy? With the second one. Oh, yes, apparently it was. Just think it's a quite spherical planet. There, curvature. I would not have got it from that. I had some of it though. Yeah. On the way. Yep, I'm sorry, that's a star shape. That's Mario there, so if it's on the way, it's going to be uh, Galaxy. Couldn't really get into Galaxy. Like, I'm sure I would enjoy it, but I just wasn't a big fan of the controls. I like, haven't used the, the, the waggle swipe controls. Not my cup of tea. Internet EAD. I think we'll go to 700. We're going to end. I think that's pixel art. It's trying to be pixel art, so I don't recognize it immediately. Oh, I take it back. It's too old for Metacritic. Is this first person? Is this mother? No. Is this a golf game? Ghetto golf. Oh my word. Is it just golf? No. Oh, it's Jurassic Park. You bet your ass. Dinosaur there. Yeah, I could have maybe got it from that on the show. And yeah, there you are. It's a pack. Ocean. Ocean of America. Blow the ass. Look at that. Nice. Oh, that's too dark to really sort of see. I wonder. Tyranny? Uh, 
if something's going to... Oh. This really is like World, of, like World of Warcraft, but I'm not entirely sure. PC and Linux. What is this game? Oh, is it Diablo? Diablo 4. No. Uh, is it Path of Exile? No. Is it V Rising? Do you mean you can't find V? Right, I wouldn't know that if it is V Rising. It's not actually showing you up there. A steep hook. Oh, yes, of course. Okay, we have one more. I want a really good one. Maybe a not. That looks sort of old. If it's a mythic. Oh, this is going to be old, isn't it? Shoot a siphon. It won't. It, it's going to be black, is it? Oh, come on now. What is it? Is it actually black? Do they even have it? I'll go through 130 results. Oh, it's the Matrix. It is a Matrix game. It's the Matrix. I should have got that sooner. Why? Well, yeah, Dallin wants to watch that. God help. As long as you don't believe it's a documentary, we're all good. This seems very familiar. What's the game I've been playing? It's just... Uh, what's the dragon game I've been playing lately? Is this Cavern of Dreams? No. It's too often much... This is Klonoa. How I didn't get it. That's appalling, but I didn't get that right away. That I would have got it from. Yep, that I would have got it from. Well, that was a great game. Uh, it was one of my favorite games to review. One of my favorite reviews in general. Uh, I don't. Did I actually do the really, really long intro for it? I don't think I did. But I did like a three minute gag intro. But yeah, this was what two point when people say two point five D, this is what two point five D actually was. Yes, I am gatekeeping. Because the it, 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 yeah, the clever trick of the camera doing all the work. Yeah? You still move left and right, but look at how it moves. Like pandemonium. Yeah. Well, no, I'm glad I got that one. That would be a good one, don't know. <laughs> Dare I just... No, we're not Yakuza. Uh, Shinobi? No, not Shinobi. What am I thinking? Shenmue. No, okay. Third person like a session. Oh, it's just no more heroes. See, if I actually just sort of sat and thought about it. Oh, it's the sequel now, mod. Okay.
does also want to load. Was there actually an image there, or they just... Again, it's a bit slow to... Oh, there. I don't think I can clean too much from that. Let me just quickly pause this down. I don't know. Maybe not. In fact, this might be my cue to leave. I sort of recognize this. I sort of recognize it. Is this Starfield? Beginning of Starfield. No. Okay. That seems familiar. What is it now? That appears to be a rifle. Is this the... Um, New World? Is it New World? No. Uh, but is it the dark pictures? Because this looks sort of like that. Why on earth? It's an action RPG. Why on earth did I do that? Don't nod. Whatever it is, it actually looks really good, but I'm trying to remember what it is. No, I give up. Oh, Banishers, of course, yes, that's the game that I'm... Uh... I keep talking about it in my vampire playthrough, but oh, let's come out. Hmm. I know that site and I can't place it. This is very, very, this art style is very familiar. That's, is, is it League of Legends? They're doing a new, uh, uh, something with it, aren't they? Is it Awoken? Awaken? Help me out here. Blue Dragon Awaken Shadow, no it's not that. Um, League. Of. Legends, come on, help me out, it's a sequel. I'm not going to guess the game. What was the, what's the game called? Oh. No, yeah, I wouldn't have got that. That does look fun, though. I, I, I'm a Dota man myself rather than League. But... Now this. This looks old. Not too old. That's a sign. Is it Psychonauts? Or some other sort of Tim Schafer game? Hmm. GameCube, PS2, and PC. I know it. I know what it is. It's a bit of a wild guess. Was it Harvest Moon? Oh, it, it's Barnyard, of course. I've not seen the film, but I 
I know that character. I'm not going to lie, that just looks comfortable enough to play. Is that on Steam? I'm going to have a look now. Dare I, and dare I do any models tonight? Are we going to chill? No, I think I'll do my modeling tomorrow. Oh, this is very familiar. This looks... Looks like some sort of rapid feeds. I couldn't take the game right off the bat. Fifty-nine percent. It looks like an old PS2 game. Is it heady getty? Xbox GBA, it's, I'm thinking it's like a movie tie-in game. It's not Fable. Oh, it's a, it's a Lord of the Rings game. Is it The Hobbit? No, it is Lord of the Rings. I have to guess which one it is. I, Aragorn's Quest? Flesh for the Ring, okay. I wasn't entirely sure. Because right, I know some of the games were like top down. I just keep going. Is this Animal Crossing? Aminel. Animal Crossing. I think that's one we'll end on, actually. Yeah, it's just because the furniture just seemed like, yeah, that's always there. Yeah, have Majora's Mask there. That's cool. I, I yeah, I used to love this. I, I always had the idea of like the uh, sort of like the roly poly uh, world there for the DS is pretty cool. I love Animal Crossing. I, I if I if I could commit to it, I would. But yeah, unfortunately, it does require a. Uh, it does require some commitment. But yeah, that's uh, I was going to say. That's being guest of the game for nearly two hours. But I'm going to do there. So thank you ever so much for watching. Take care, and I hope whatever games you're playing, you're enjoying them very much. I hope to be back in the Vampire very soon. Just taking a bit of a break because uh, I've got to level up. Which I'm looking forward to. But yes, thank you for ever so much. Take care. Stephanie.